Meantime, tonight, some medical groups say they are very worried people are refusing emergency treatment because they're scared of catching the coronavirus. Other people want to go to the hospital but cannot because elective surgeries are still off limits. CBS Force Kerry Kahn has more on these growing issues. Was either life or a death situation, and I chose life. In early April, Shamari Alfonso got word from her doctor, Alberto Casaretto, that her kidneys were in bad shape. My kidneys were only functioning at a 7%. She needed surgery, but it was considered an elective surgery, and Governor Ron DeSantis put a stop to those in late March as the COVID-19 pandemic hit Florida. Within a day, however, Alfonso's doctor set her up for surgery at Broward Health Medical Center. Ultimately, there re she really didn't have much of a choice. Alfonso said the thought of going into the hospital concerned her, knowing that there were COVID-19 patients there. The COVID-19 is going around, so I felt like if I go, I might you know, be one of the persons to get infected. Alfonso came through the surgery well and was released a day later. She said the hospital was clean and sterile. Dr. Casaretto said Alfonso's situation offers an important reminder for others who suffer medical emergencies. If there's something that you feel is urgent and there is a medical problem, you need to seek medical attention. The risk of getting COVID is pretty small. The Florida Medical Association is sounding a similar tone in this letter it sent to DeSantis. They said it is essential that Florida physicians get back to seeing patients as soon as it is safe for them to do so. There are patients with serious medical conditions that need treatment who elect not to go to the hospital or their doctor's office due to the safer at home order. It is imperative that we not ignore a potential second crisis, a wave of emergencies and fatalities among the people delaying care or going untreated. They want DeSantis to lift his executive order on elective surgeries in places with few cases of COVID-19. Dr. Celso Agner is a neurologist at Broward Health. He said when a medical emergency happens, time is of the essence. If you miss that time window, you're going to miss a lot of potential therapies that can reverse your condition. Shamari Alfonso was feeling good and said she relied on her faith in God to get her through. I said to myself, whatever happens has to happen. I cannot stay home. It has to be done. The American Heart Association is also urging people to call 911 if they have medical emergencies or go to the hospital. They say hospitals have protocols in place to isolate COVID-19 patients, to sanitize their facilities, and to protect other patients in their care. In Fort Lauderdale, Kerry Codd, CBS 4 News Tonight.